So, uh, I don't know where you are, man, but I am here. I am waiting where you told me to wait. It's really cold outside, brother. You're gonna be here soon? Like, why am I waiting outside? All right. Uh, just call me back or text me. Just let me know when you're gonna be here. Later, all right. Hey. All right, I don't even want to know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Rob, why, why am I out here in the cold, man? Why can I Season just... screamings, uh, my friend. Se season screamings indeed, my friend. You know, I live here. I could have waited inside the warm area. Why are we outside? Oh, well, you know, I figured being at ground level away from those vintage heating systems would probably be the best thing. My house is not that old. Well, you know, I'm kind of skeptical about all this fantastical, spectral phenomena. You really need to let that go. Uh, well, <laughs> yes. But maybe tonight. Maybe tonight I will because tonight could be the one. This could be the one that actually changes my mind. I color me surprised. Why, why, why is this one the one that's going to change your mind? Because the end. My, my house is not haunted. Well. In fact, it is, probably, like everyone else's house around, around here. You're telling me that my entire block is haunted. Exactly. Not only this block, but the blocks around you, and even the country, and even most of the world. Well, I feel like the show's over, because if you're telling me that I've been right this entire time, that's well, amazing. Well, tonight could be the night. Tonight could be the night that proves me wrong. Now, this entity, which has been which has been rumored to enter people's houses for hundreds of years is either seen as a benefactor hmm. or a perverse intruder who challenges the most mechanically inept um, adults that reside in these domiciles. Rob, is the spirit we're investigating tonight wear a jolly red hat like the one I'm wearing now? Possibly. Rob, are you here to hunt Santa Claus? Well, it's better than hanging out here in the cold. All right. That we can agree on. Let's go inside and figure this out. All right. Let's go. Okay. I know this place. Yeah, Rob. Welcome back, man. Welcome to my humble abode. This is perfect. Uh, hot for the holidays. Yeah, it's nothing quite like a good Christmas ghost story. Exactly. And what uh, what better Christmas ghost than Santa Claus himself? Well, Santa's not really a ghost. He's more of a spirit. Well, uh, you know, was, um, I guess like what's the difference though, right? A spirit and a ghost. Uh, spirit. He's a spirited ghost. How about that? Sure. Yeah. A Christmas spirited ghost, a holiday spirited yes, ghost. Yes, a very holiday spirited ghost. Yeah. This is, uh, I actually prefer this location to some of our other locations. One, I know that for a fact there's no risk of freaking me out. I'm not going to be running anytime soon. It's, <laughs> well, not, it's not dark and That's eerie. what you think. <laughs> this is my, like, my safe place. Okay. Well, let's just see if we can mix that up a little bit. By the way, I, I'm digging the fire. That Thank is, you. Yeah. That's awesome. I figure we'll have a little fireside chat. 
Yeah. About good old Saint Nick. Yeah. Well, let's start with Saint Nick. Yeah, what do we know about Santa Claus? What do we know about him? Well, uh, Santa, Santa Claus, like a lot of mythical characters, are, um, is based on an actual person, Saint Nicholas. He was born around 270 AD in, in, in Myra, which is now part of modern day Turkey. Now, uh, he was well known for his charity, uh, giving, uh, giving his wealth to the less fortunate. That adds up. Yeah. <clears throat> and his legend has grown from there. Uh, well, that kind of makes sense. Why would like a spirit of giving be known for like being stingy and greedy? That's a whole different Christmas carol. <laughs> right, right. Over the years, his legend has um, evolved. He's, he became known as the protector of children and sailors. Sailors? Sailors. Why sailors? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a lot of children were sailors back then. Who had, I, I, I have no idea. I mean, maybe that kind of lends itself to the idea of like traveling around the world, though. That, I think, is an interesting one. In a yes. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, the patron saint of uh, children and sailors, as well as repentant thieves, brewers, Ooh. and pawnbrokers. Uh. Are you saying that I should crack a cold one for Santa Claus? You probably should. I'll do that later. Or if there's anything you want to pawn, you can do that as well. So, um, you know, given the given his wide portfolio of protection, it, it, it goes without <laughs> saying um, why he's remained so popular, even um, uh, pre and post Reformation, especially in Holland, which is where the history of Santa Claus really begins to develop. Uh, the Dutch uh, still celebrate the anniversary of St. Nicholas's death, which is on December 6th. Interesting. Which is when the tradition of giving gifts to nice kids started to develop. How uh, did those two coincide? Why, why give gifts to children on the anniversary of a person's death? Well, uh, well, well, St. Nicholas was known for his charity. So this was a way of kind of symbolic kind of honoring the charity. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, now, one story goes is that uh, when St. Nicholas was alive and this kind of ties into some of the other traditions that uh, we still have today. Um, there was someone in his town uh, who had three daughters and he was a poor fellow and he didn't have enough money for their dowries. So uh, being unmarriable, uh, his daughters, their outlook was bleak in the oldest profession sense of the term bleak. Okay. Now, um, now their dad, uh, he needed to get his priorities straight, uh, would not ask for any help or handouts or charity to help build a dowry for his daughters so they could get married. So legend has it. St. Nicholas slid down their chimney late one night, finding, the, <laughs> finding that his daughters had hung their stockings to dry on the mantle of the fireplace. And within that, he um, left gold coins, enough for them um, to actually uh, fund their dowries. So what you're saying is, more stockings equal more gold coins? That's exactly what I'm saying. So I can get more than just two gold coins? You can get more than just two gold coins. So if I leave all five of these up overnight, I get five more gold coins? Well, that's part of the legend. Can I eat them? If you want to. <laughs> I don't have to get this open. This is like sealed. Would you like one? Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> you can take that home. I'll I, I've I'll, gifted you a gold coin. Why, thank you very much. I'll You're put welcome. this in my stocking. Yes. And okay. Maybe it will well, multiply. Since we're giving gifts, in the spirit of the season, <clears throat> I brought you a little gift. Oh, you brought me a gift. Yeah. I'll be honest. Um, you know, this oh, is, sure. I'm re-gifting a gift that I received. It's not used. I hope, not I hope, I hope, I hope, party. I hope you don't mind. You know what, Rob? It's a gift from you. I'm grateful no matter what. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Merry Christmas. What is it? Let's find out. Do 
See, Rob. Thanks. I, yeah, I tend to get a lot of those this time of year. Somehow, that doesn't surprise me. No. Well, you know, as uh, as part of a greener Christmas too, by um, by me giving this to you, I lower my carbon footprint. Charcoal barbecue. Use it. Yeah. Use it. We can draw a picture. You can. Okay. Well, it's very kind of you. Um, thanks for sharing. <laughs> Anytime. I'm put there that back, back there is box. more where that came from, my friend. I bet there is okay. no short supply of coal. Okay, so let me get this straight. You show up at my house. I'm out in the cold. We're investigating Santa Claus. So the, the, the idea, like other local haunts episodes, we're trying to like gather actual evidence that Santa Claus exists. Visual evidence, yes. Actual visual evidence that Santa Claus exists. Exactly. I will I will not take anything less than that. Right. Okay. So now now we know about Santa Claus. We know mm -hmm. about the stockings. We know about the tree. So this is the local haunts episode. It's time to break out our tools and divine whether or not we can uh, we can track the fat man. Because those always work so well. You know, Rob? Starting to see why you get nothing but coal. Well, okay, all right. Well, how about if we try something new, uh, but something in the same vein? What you got? All right. Let me go show you. Hey, uh, so do you think I can put up a stocking? No, that's not what you do here. Oh. Okay. All right, what did I miss? Javi wants to put up a stocking. Oh, God, no. That's not how this works. It doesn't work this way. <laughs> no, right. sorry, Javi. All right, well, to try something a little bit different, I brought dousing rods, or dousing rods. Rob, mm -hmm. we're not looking for water. We're looking for Santa Claus. True, however, you know, Santa has to spend his time going to all those houses in that very heavy suit. I'm sure he gets a little sweaty. Okay. So speaking of the jolly red man, what was one of the earliest depictions of what we know today as the modern Santa Claus? Modern day Santa Claus. Was it the night before our Christmas book? Oh, I know. Coke cans. Close. Now, Coca-Cola actually really ran with the idea of Santa Claus and really modernized the depiction. However, um, the first illustration of Santa Claus appeared in Harper's Weekly back in the early 1860s and was illustrated by the political illustrator Thomas Nast. Go check it out. It's a very cool looking um, montage of the holiday season. <laughs> Your dowsing rods are kind of wild in there, my I friend. I know, I know. Still trying to figure out how best to use them. Um, these are fairly new. The whole idea is that you hold them very steady and then, and then you ask questions. As you can see, they are very sensitive to movement. So, I'm going to ask a I question. I can that they're not pointing at water. Well, they're pointing <laughs> at Javi. Javi uh, is full of water. Well, we're all we full of water. We just water four hours ago, so he should be good to go for a little bit. Four hours ago? What? I know. Okay. He's, I guess he's due for another drink at some yeah. point. Yeah. We'll get yeah. to it eventually. Well, uh, here, here's a question <clears throat> for old St. Nick. Um, has um, my friend Rob been good this year. If he has been, move the move the tips of the rod closer together. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I'd interfere. Oh, there we go. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I mean, good is subjective. Define yeah. good. Well, yeah, good is very subjective. But maybe Maybe this isn't really in the spirit of the holiday season. So here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you try. But, you know, I'm, I think we're going to do something a little bit different. 
<laughs> in the spirit of Christmas. So here, now these, this is something you can get behind. Okay. I feel like an airport person. That's right. So I just hold them? Direct those uh, planes in. Okay. You just hold them steady. So we'll yes now now ask now ask a question and and see and see if you get an answer. Okay, so we have dowsing rods and Christmassy dowsing rods. We're just gonna mm -hmm. ask questions. We're just gonna take. Oh, right, right. We're we're gonna do a bit of A B testing you know here. Are these? You have to ask your question. I'm gonna ask my question. Okay. Has Robert Repass? We'll be specific. Okay. Has Robert Repass been good this year? If he had been a good man good boy this year move the ends of my dowsing candy canes closer to each other ah that makes sense rob's a good man yeah are yeah. ghosts real if they are move them away from each other oh what <laughs> God, that was that was Wh Wow, that was that was undeniable. Well, well, folks, that's, I, that's I, almost better than the, the 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 Duplo brick and the spirit board. I know, I know. Well, I think our job is done here. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Uh, we've proved ghosts the existence exist. of ghosts. All right, all right. No, seriously, let's right, try yeah, yeah, yeah. one here. It's just sort of like, is yeah, yeah. anyone, is there a spirit present in the house? If there is. Move the dowsing rods closer together. <laughs> nah. Well, there's a half a spirit, I guess. Like I said earlier, my house is not haunted. <clears throat> I would uh, live okay. in it if it were. All right. Well, this is my safe place. Yeah. Again, with a lot of these uh, implements, um, a lot comes down to. I think the, the user and either subconsciously or consciously taking actions that move them. I'm actually That's finding right. this really difficult to hold the, to hold these steady enough. I'm still shocked that they haven't pointed out water. <laughs> Folks, you can't see this, but out of frame is an actual water bottle. The yes. Dowsing rods have done their actual first primary job. Mm -hmm. How about this? Spirits in the room. Should we be nicer to Javi before he steals all our Christmas presents? No. Like the Grinch? No, well, in all I'll seriousness, uh, Javi has been fantastic. Oh Thank gosh. you for, for shooting all of this for us. Don't encourage him. No. Okay, Rob. I'm just teasing. I know, I but know. But seriously, don't encourage him. No, all right, I won't. So I also brought a different <gasps> pendulum as well. Ooh, that was interesting. What happened there? Batteries. Oh, the batteries. Okay. Dun, 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 All right. Dun, Let the dancing dun, begin. Dun, okay. Dun, 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 dun. So I brought a pendulum, a, a slightly different pendulum. Hey, it is a from, new pendulum. Yeah, it is a new pendulum. Oh, oh. Now, like Did the. Did you get me a Christmas gift? Is that mine? Uh, no. Oh. You got the coal. Um, that was a re. Never mind. It was a re gift. Now, this pendulum, oh, like the dowsing rods, are made of copper which is, uh, rumor has, it's supposed to be more conductive and more receptive to the spirit world. I need to know who started that rumor, but okay. We'll look it up. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea. But um, <coughs> so St. Nick, if you're there, pl um, please give this a whack if we're going to get um, gifts that we want. Well, Rob already got some coal, so obviously that's something. Ooh, yes, that's something that he wanted. There's more. You know? No. I'm down. That means barbecue. Barbecue for days. Barbecue for days. Okay. Will we have barbecue for days? Dun, dun, dun. I'm so we noticed this. on the uh, the plunge trail that the, sometimes it works better for me than it does for you. But I have a really good idea. In the spirit of the holiday, all right. Let's say we use. This. Oh, how perfect! Bobble, 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 bobble. Ornamental, my dear Watson. Oh, ornamental. Very ornamental. All right, I'll let you ask the first question. Okay. My all very right. first pendulum. 
Your very first pendulum. My very first pendulum. All right. Oh, sacred pendulum of Christmas. Is Santa Claus here with us tonight? I think you're jittery. I think you're still cold from being outside. Maybe. Yeah. It was cold outside. It was cold outside. I'm actually very moving. That's funny. It was, yeah. It was, it's California cold, folks. It was like 73 degrees. <laughs> it was like 71. <laughs> no, 71. It's like maybe, 50, maybe the high 60s. It's 54 degrees outside. First, really, baby California episodes cold. I know. I know. It's been, okay. it's been really cold. All right. All right. So let's try this again. Okay. All right. For real this time. For real. We'll, okay. Hold on here. Let's just steady that. And I'll, I'll we'll swing the pendulum. If Rob is going to get something nicer than charcoal for Christmas. Hmm. Well, it's hard to top. Kind of. All right. Well, Rob, why don't you go ahead and ask a question? <clears throat> All right. Oh, bobble, bobble, pendulum of Christmas. And uh, I'm at a loss. Hmm. I'm at a loss for things. Are, Gory did that one. Are ghosts real? But we did that. Well, Let's... is there a ghost here who likes Christmas? I have an idea. Yes, that's a good one, actually. Is there a ghost here, a spirit here, who enjoys Christmas? If so, swing the ornament back and forth. Swing our pendulum back and forth. Any direction will do. Should, since we're getting to the end of our season of local haunts, should Rob, Javi, and I come back for a second season? Yeah, that's what we thought, too. All right. All right. Okay. Well, you know, inconclusive, <laughs> I would say, is probably um, a charitable way of describing it, things thus far. Very. Well, we did bring our spirit board, but that also seems a little humbug. Yeah, we're not doing that in our house. I don't believe in spirit boards that we've learned from like the last episode. You know how I feel about spirit boards. Yeah. Still not playing with that fire in my house. Okay. All right. Do you have an alternative? Well, let's see. What would be a good alternative for the holidays? I don't know. What do you think? Do you have ideas? Suggestions? How about if we play a nice spirited game of Candyland? I'm down. Sweet. Candy Ouija. Yeah. Voila, Candyland. Spirit Land. Candyland. So, did you play this as a kid? I did. So did I. I, did. I rocked at Candyland, man. Yeah. And then I played when I had my kid. Like, we played Candyland when he was, when he was younger. Yeah. We also were more of a shoots and ladder kind of people. I yes, I, I remember like, uh, shoots and ladders as well. Milton and Bradley better not sue <laughs> yeah. us though. No. So you know, um, Candyland was created by Eleanor Babbitt in 1948. Who? Uh, Eleanor Babbitt. Oh, sorry, I was making noise. Eleanor now, while she was in the hospital recovering from polio. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so she designed this uh, game to help entertain the kids who were also in the ward. Yeah. The kids loved it so much, um, she decided, w after with their urging, to turn this into a real game and then to uh, sell it uh, to the Milton Bradley Company. Uh, all right, let's play the game. All right. Should we let Hobby play? I think, I think everyone can play. Hobby, do you want to play with us? Hello, Robs. Javi! Did you teach him that? Yes. All right, let's play. All right. <clears throat> okay, who wants to go first? All right. Well, Javi? No. Oh, fine. Heavy blue? No. Blue green? No. No. <laughs> yeah. Choose whatever color you want, Javi. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's Christmas, Javi. It's Christmas. Javi, you can pick any color you like. 
Yeah. Uh, well, no? I, no, actually, actually, let's use that later. Ron, so, so pick it. So Ryan attached to that. Yes, box. it's my Duplo. It's a great magic Duplo. All right, let's pick a color, Hoppy. Pick a color. Red. You can have red. All right. Yeah, okay. If you really want red. Okay. All right. <laughs> flip a card. Right. That's okay. What so played. yeah. Card. How do you play? Let's flip a color. Flip a card. Pick a card. No one's taking go first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No. Go All right. right. It's Christmas. Oh, you picked. Is that an orange? Red. Or is that like a darker red? Yeah. Oh, red goes to red. <coughs> How predictable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I still was Rob. It's okay. All right. I thought I was red. No, yeah. Keep you hit the green one. Oh. All right, Rob. What color are you? Um, you go next. So you choose a color. All right. <laughs> Ooh, I got double green. What's a what does that mean? Well, I think that means that you go to the second <gasps> I green. Twice green, yep. green. I fly right. Okay. Body. All right. All right. Now it's my turn. And now I go to orange. Yes. Oh, this is fun. All right. Speed round. Hobby. Yellow. All right. <clears throat> so as we're doing this. Let's let's wax a little nostalgic. Sure. Um, share a, a Christmas memory uh, or a, a Santa Claus specific memory oh. that is either good or ill. I actually have one of those. Do you have one? Um, for well, those of you unfamiliar, uh, six episodes in at this point, you should be. Javi's our team member. He's he's part of our team. Javi is our very trusty camera person. With us on most of our haunts. So, Javi, say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Everybody, Javi. Javi. So, Spirit of Christmas, Santa Claus. Um, I remember taking my sister to see Santa Claus at the mall. <coughs> I want to say she was about four years old. We brought her in. This is her first time, like, sitting to see Santa Claus do pictures. So she wasn't really sure what's the deal, but she has to tell, her, tell him what she wants for Christmas. So when she goes up, she's kind of like starstruck almost. She doesn't know that she needs to tell him like what she wants for Christmas. So he's just kind of there. It's like, does she know what Christmas is? Does she speak English? Oh, that's just oh, cool. she just from, wow. She that's, just a, that's a mean Santa Claus. Yeah. So that was that's that's a funny one that I always look back. I don't always look back on it, but it hits me when I see the picture around the house at this time of the year. That's that's like, horrible. That's the meanest Santa Claus. That's a bad Santa. So how did how did she react to that? How did I don't? He leaned in more towards me to ask the question. I don't think she heard it. Okay. And if not, that's he, still I, I never brought it up to her again. Very rude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I'm sorry. That's that's not. That I, well, I'm glad she didn't remember because especially that at that age, that um, memories like that um, can really taint um, one's kind of view of the holidays. Indeed. So. All right, I'm gonna grab a chair. All right. All right. So, all right, so, so, uh, so Rob, I have one. Yeah, I have yeah, two. Yeah, what about you? So for me, this is actually gonna play right, oh, sorry, it's your turn. So um, my, I have a really like a fun Santa Claus memory, but you're all gonna think I'm insane. So, uh, well, you know that's not gonna change. <laughs> but it, it, it totally adds up with my whole dynamic. Um, when I lived in the Poconos when I was much younger, um, I'm trying to think how old I was. It was I think my my, my sophomore or junior. Yeah, I think it was like a sophomore in high school. We had a two-story house mm -hmm. in the Poconos, and it was in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, of course, my turn. Mm -hmm. In the middle of nowhere, and that's two oranges. I think that's red. Two reds. Yeah, like the darker red. Whatever. Right. It's, it's the darker. Color. It's the darker color. I have a green Other red. Okay. So I'm in bed. It's Christmas Eve. I'm sleeping, um, and I hear a jostling on the roof. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Like, like I, you think like I would be joking, but I wasn't even kidding. I heard like a jostling on the roof. Again, we live in the middle of nowhere. How is this? Play? This game is crazy. <laughs> um, so I woke up. I'm like, it's Christmas Eve. Jostling on the roof. What's your first instinct? Right? Home invader. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some people do think Santa Claus is a perverse intruder. He leaving leaving things that that hapless adults need to put together. <laughs> Sometimes. How about you, Rob? Well, 
I was young, very, very young, and um, my favorite Focus. show on television was <laughs> Lost in Space. Yeah. Danger, Will Robinson. Exactly. Danger. And I wanted the robot. I wanted like that robot. robot? Like I, I wanted that robot for Christmas. Yes, and I wrote Santa Claus a letter, from what I with my crayon, uh, saying that I wanted the lost space robot, and I was expecting that I was going to get the robot. Well, when Christmas Day came, I went downstairs, and I was opening up a present. Please tell me I got a robot. And there was a a box this big that had the lost in space robot. My parents were beaming. But I started to cry because oh. I wanted the life size. I wanted the real robot. At that point in time, I knew that something was afoot. So, you know, ever I since feel that like time, that sets the pace for your whole life and our partnership going forward. <laughs> we have all the evidence you need, and yet still, you require visual evidence. All the evidence, Javi. I think you're going to win. Yes, and we even like stage that. <laughs> That's a good player to be good. <laughs> <laughs> no. well, and now you see why hobby is not allowed on the screen. Yes. <laughs> oh, bye bye. <laughs> yeah. So even though this is a lot of fun and we've waxed a bit of n nostalgic, we still haven't conjured up any entities. I mean, it's typical to like <coughs> stay up late and wait for Santa Claus. Well, right. Oh. Which, I mean, yellow, yellow. doesn't legends say we need to be asleep? Like, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. That's just super creepy. Well, so is most of the story. So we've run out of cards. No, well, there are more in here, so. So right. Javi, uh, cut the deck, and then. Okay, Javi, <laughs> Javi, it's your turn. <laughs> Choose a card. It's actually not Javi's turn, it's my turn. We're not going to go because we're going to just, no, it's good, it's good. I give it to you. Green one. It's, not, you can, it's multicolored, you're win. <laughs> Javi wins the game! All right, but there's still no Santa Claus, so. All right, fingers on the Duplo, everybody. Because Javi wasn't there, you need to explain to Javi why we're doing this. Oh, right. Uh, that is right, because when we were on the Hornet, we, that was the first time we tried the, um, the spirit board. Yes. And we weren't getting anything, but in the box was a Duplo. Oh, so, Magic Duplo. Oh, Magic Duplo. Please tell us, is Grandma Nut what? here? Grandma, Grandma oh, Nut. Okay. <laughs> yes. Hello, or, or, or the uh, creepy weird twins. Um, or Lord Licorice. Well, we're on Lord Licorice. That dirty. I know. Um, okay. is, is anyone here that can guide us through Candyland? You know, I'm kind of glad we're doing this because every time I tell people I don't believe in spirit boards, like, it's not the board. It's all about the intention. So that basically means you could use anything. That's right. We could use a Duplo on a Candyman board, no matter how blasphemous that may sound. Yes, and with the same results. Oh, magic! Well, actually, how do we get to answer any questions? Well, okay. Well, take us to Queen, uh, is that Frosty? Queen Frosty, and the, it's Elsa before she was Queen. Okay, I, I, from here it looked like Queen Frostbite, which just didn't seem very right. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so Queen, Queen Frostline, or frosting. Frosting. Okay. Like frosting. Frosting. Oh, right. Frosting. Queen frosting will be yes. And gloppy will be no. Ooh, gloppy is no. Gloppy looks like a pile of <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, oh, no magic duplo. By it's, Christmas time next year, will the spook and hollow be a house right now? Yes. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, friction. all right. All right. We have friction. friction. All right. Thank you. All right, well, thank, thank you, you very Frosty. much. Okay. 